Hey guys, Mike from Ball Python Boulevard here, and we got Kendra from Puget Sound Pythons. Because <laughs> I'm always screwing up those names. I don't know what it is. And then we got Josh from Trinity Exotics. Exotics. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I keep saying reptiles. <laughs> Trinity Exotics. So uh, make sure you guys give them some love and I'll have some links down below. Uh, but we are today here building the uh, Freedom Breeder Breeder 1030 rack. I love these racks, they're amazing. Uh, so this is kind of the step up uh, for, for uh, the girls that can't quite cut in a 1040. So I would say 1040 up to about 4,000, maybe pushing 4,500 if they're still eating really well. Um, that would be this. It, once they go above that, then you move them up uh, to the 1030 rack. So a lot bigger bin system. Once again, cup holder, pay the extra dollar. Do not be a cheapskate, one dollar. Trust me, it will save your mind. It'll save your mind. pocket. It'll save your mind is what it's gonna save because you will go nuts without this, okay? Because if you don't do this, you might as well put some ceramic bowls in here which will cost you even more than a dollar spent on this okay so just pay the extra buck trust me you're gonna love it all right Kendra you ready yeah is our supervisor ready we okay. got a supervisor <laughs> he's supervising <laughs> says echo for those that haven't met echo echo just made some noise on a previous video but that's all echo's done so far on the videos but I swear I would never be a cat guy but I'm a cat guy now I'm a cat guy. all right These are pretty easy to put together, guys. Nice and simple. They got the Velcro already on there. For the most part, they pop right on. They do recommend having some gloves because there's a lot of sharp edges, especially on the heat panels. Um, and then also on these right here, these are really sharp, so you do want to be careful either have have some gloves um, or just keep your hands away from all those sharp edges. But the sharpest part for sure is definitely those, uh, the bottoms of those uh, key panels. So, all yeah, right. This corner needs to get put back in. All right, so they also recommend a rubber mallet right here. You showing off those guns for you guys. Yeah, it's about those guns. Yeah. I don't know. I better be careful what I say about my big guns because, you know, then Miguel's going to do a big video about his guns. Oh, I'm sure. part nice and easy to put together so we got four on here right now and we're thinking where we're gonna put because I got a shelf rack on this uh, that I'm putting on there as well um, if you saw the build for the 1575 you saw the shelf rack for that but I'm thinking what do you think Kendra uh, this is Good for me. That's a good level, a, level for you. I'm five feet off the ground, Mike. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Another another level. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking because another level I would get it up to here. Yeah. Right. I guess that's a good clean space for me, right? For you, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's go one more. Okay. I say let's go one more. Okay. Oh, here comes the supervisor. I guess you'll never be supervisor. helping me out in my hand. <laughs> Too high on Kendra. <laughs> All right, so let's see. And this one's got a lot of sharp edges, guys. Mm -hmm. So be very careful here. Back end. So that's my back end. Yeah. Front end. All right. We're in. 
You know, you don't want to do this twice, guys. So, I think that's, what do you think? Good for you, yeah. Good for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good level, good level. While I'm watching TV, yeah, good level. Mm -hmm. All right. It does have uh, some lock, lock tabs on here, so you're going to want to make sure you bend those down uh, once you get this in there, so that way the whole rack doesn't uh, fly out on you. So, I'm assuming I'm just supposed to push those down. Man, I should have brought a, should have brought a, something to uh, push that down with, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Keys? Keys. Yeah. Keys. When you're not prepared... I gotta push them down further, huh? Oh, yeah. They're missing by. How much am I missing them by? You guys, <laughs> they actually need to come up. Oh, they need to come up. Hey, wow. see, that's why we have Josh here. All right, so let's push them back. I guess I can do that. do that later. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's do this. There you go. Push the tabs up. <laughs> you got some vertical lift. Mm, that, uh, T Rex arms. T Rex arms. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you do this one. You're tall. Yeah, we're, we're. so you, know, you just got to figure out which way you want to mount the heat. Uh, obviously, depending on where your uh, heat source or your plug-in is on the wall. So in this particular one, we're mounting it on the opposite side here. So we're going to mount from this side here. guys so you gotta make sure when you guys are putting these in that you're bending the tabs and getting those panels so right here if you guys see that you want to make sure that that goes in that slot so you're not pinching that wire especially on this very very sharp edge
That one's right. So when, as I, I talked about this before, these come in both the non-insulated and insulated. Obviously I uh, always get the insulated. It really helps out with not just uh, holding on to the heat, but it actually throws extra heat down uh, to the bin down below. So it makes a really big difference uh, as far as heating bills. So I would highly highly recommend uh, the insulated panels. Here, uh, I just get the standard five inch. I don't see an issue uh, with any uh, heat, even here in the Pacific Northwest, where it's quite colder, um, I, I don't see a need for the seven or the uh, bigger ones. Um, these do a really great job heating, um, and they're quite off, quite often enough, so, um, Unless you're in Canada or Alaska breeding, I guess then you might need some bigger panels. But these do a great job even up here in the Washington State. So There we go guys, the Freedom Breeder 1030 rack system. Just a beautiful piece of craftsmanship and uh, yeah, I love my Freedom Breeder. So this is my uh, sixth rack and uh, I couldn't be happier. Love the addition of the maintenance shelf uh, available. Great grade upgrade, highly recommended. Um, and uh, obviously guys, these guys, uh, just 100% stainless steel, these, they're, they're built to last forever, rust uh, proof, rust free, um, easy yeah, to clean. easy to clean, easy to maintain, I mean this is uh, really a great piece of Racking and uh, didn't take us that long to build. I mean, mm -hmm. this was pretty pretty easy to uh, snap together. So um, You can buy these as well in uh, smaller versions, so they do have uh, uh, What I think they call it uh, 
I don't know. But that, you basically you can get the shorties, you can get the double. Obviously, this is their full rack system. Uh, you can also buy just uh, smaller. Uh, if you need a half rack, you can buy them that way. You can buy additional um, units, right? uh, units, so you can stack them higher if you want to do that as well. Uh, you can buy lock-in wheels, uh, some of the other upgrades on there. Obviously, we talked about uh, the cup holder. Do not buy anything other than the cup holder bins. Okay. Um, what else is a couple other things? Obviously, we talked about the insulated, uh, which is a great uh, add-on. Obviously, also, they have the available. Uh, so, the 5-inch is standard. You can get the seven. I think the nine is the next one up in there. I don't know where you would use that. Antarctic? Yeah. Something? I don't know. Uh, but if you're not using the insulator, you might need you might need that in certain places. So, but it's uh yeah great rack system. Tell me guys what you guys think. Um, uh, and I will be using this for some of my bigger bigger girls hopefully some of them will eat even better going into this uh, versus my bigger rack so uh, yeah def def definitely let me know uh, what you guys thought about all the builds uh, whether it's the 1575 uh, the 1040 or the 1030 rack system uh, but absolutely couldn't be happier with freedom breeder uh, and uh, craftsmanship um, and the, the other thing is customer service. I uh, can't talk about it enough, uh, what great customer service Freedom Breeder has. Jesse over there is just amazing. And if you're a new breeder getting into a hobby, uh, he's just a wealth of knowledge, uh, knows from personal experience, because they also breed over there, uh, which rack system would be best for you and what you got going on so feel free to reach out to them and get some really great advice but um, I will have some uh, links down below to their uh, pages and their website so you guys can reach out directly to them uh, if you have any questions or feedback feel free to uh, shoot it my way uh, but uh, once again, thank you, Kendra, yeah, from no Puget Sound Pythons, <laughs> and Josh from Trinity Exotics. Yeah, thank you guys. So make sure you guys give the give these guys some love. There'll be a couple links for their channels. There'll be a subscribe button for myself as well. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, obviously hit that notification bell because we do a lot of live. Uh, feeds especially for uh, the uh, leg eggs and uh, for cuttings so make sure that uh, you're following us so you can get those updates as usual guys love you god bless we'll see you guys next time